So let's look at question 11 of practice test 2, a CSEC mathematics past paper. You have 5 plus 2 cube over 5 square minus 2 square. Well, you can do what is in the bracket first. 5 plus 2 is 7. So it's actually 7 cube. So it's 7 cube all over 5 square plus 2 square. 7 cube, what is that? It means you have 3 7s multiplied one another. Alright? So 7 times 7 times 7 all over. 5 squared is 5 times 5. I don't need to write that. 5 5 is 25 minus 2 twos. 4 because 2 squared means you have 2 twos and they multiply one another. So these will give some big numbers. So let's keep them as 7 by 7 by 7 for now. See if we can cancel them later. 25 minus 4 is what? 21. Yeah, you can cancel though. 7 to 7, 1. 7 to 21, 3. So what you have up top is 7, 7, 49 over 3. 49 over 3. So it is D. Right? Yeah, so the answer for question 11 D question 11 is D all right so let's see what else we can do we're going to move on to question 12 question 12 how much is how much simple interest is due on a loan of $120 for two years if the annual rate of interest is five and a half percent hmm let's see you have simple interest yeah you have a simple interest formula but let's not use the formula let's reason it out 120 dollars for two years the annual interest rate is five and a half percent which is 5.5 .5. so you have one hundred and twenty dollars the interest is two percent so the int interest is going to be five point five per means divide by cent means a hundred off multiply one twenty all right so ten into one twenty goes twelve ten into a hundred goes ten see what else we can cancel down 5.5 over 10 remember it's five and a half percent so I'll use 5.5 over 100 times 120 this will give you the interest so 5.5 by 12 is what you know that 512 is 60 plus 0.5 of 12 is what 6 so this become up top 66 so you have 66 over 10 which is 6.6 dollars six dollars sixty cents for one year it's simple interest so it's the same money for the second year so for two years it's 6.6 plus 6.6 and you get 6 and 6 12 bring down the 2 carry 6 and 6 12 right 2 carry 1 6 and 6 12 1 1 13 thirteen dollars twenty so thirteen point two twelve is b is that really it um we didn't look at the question the answer before but question twelve b all right question twelve is b we want to look at question thirteen right let's erase the working that we did before and then look at question 13 get these rough work out of the way it says question 13 says you have a TV cash $600 pay down $60 pay 55% monthly for 12 months 
that's a higher purchase plan or you could pay cash six hundred dollars mr jones purchases the tv advertising the diagram by using the higher purchase plan instead of paying cash how much more than the six hundred dollars does mr bone jones pay for using the higher purchase plan okay let's see 55 paid on 55 no paid on 60 dollars so that's paid down already 60 dollars now 55 dollars monthly for 12 months that means you will pay 55 dollars then another 55 dollar in month two in month three 55 dollars 12 times so we have 12 times 55 all right so let's multiply that out 55 by 12, 2, 5, 10, bring down the 0, carry 1, 2, 5, 10, and 1, 11, 1, 5, 5, 1, 5, 5, 0, 5, 1, 1, 6, 5, 1, 1, 6. So, $660 you would pay for the monthly payment. And then, remember, he had paid $60 down, right? He had paid down sixty dollars, so the six hundred and sixty plus sixty dollars is going to be six and six twelve, six and one seven, seven hundred and twenty dollars. And the thing is, they ask what, how much more does he pay? How much more? So in this case, it's seven twenty, seven twenty minus six hundred, which is one hundred and twenty. So question thirteen, D. So this would be the answer. So that's question 13. 13 is D. All right? Question 13, D. Let's erase the rough work and move on. Question 14. 0 0.1 plus 0 0.01 in bracket times 0 0.1 minus 0 0.01 what's that all about hmm let's see what you have 0 0.1 plus 0 0.01 and you're going to find out which one of these it will work out as what you can do Add the 0 0.1 to 0 0.01 and what you have is going to be 0 0.11 when you put 0 0.1 to 0 0.01 0 0.11 0 .11. and that so you have 0 0.11 multiplied by then over here 0 0.1 you can put a 0 minus 0 0.01 then one man so that you can this becomes nine zero zero point zero point zero nine All right and you could consider that if you multiply everything here by a hundred it will come ten minus one which is nine and then divide by a hundred nine divided by a hundred is point zero nine All right but anyway you want to find out which of these is the answer now what you can do if you multiply this by a hundred you get eleven this times one hundred give you eleven this time one hundred will give you nine so it's eleven times nine which is ninety nine no ninety nine you get ninety nine you add the multiplied by a hundred two times so compensate by multiplying dividing by a hundred two times so you get one two that's one division one two that's the other division so it implies that the point would be right here so you have point two zeros and nine nine which shows implies that the answer for 14 is d 14 is d right question 14 the answer is d 15 is saying c let's look at 15 and see what 50 question 15 is about question 15 
this occurred could zoom that in could zoom in question 15 and then work it out what it's saying here is that Jake bought a shirt marked at $80 so that was accidental so the price for the shirt is $80 then it says all right eighty dollars let me write that down he received ten dollars ten percent discount how much does he pay for the shirt so it's ten percent off ten percent off what is ten percent of eighty eight dollars off so if he pays eighty dollars minus eight that's going to be 72 so question 15 is C okay so that's question 10 to 15 so far we'll continue later on 